A festival honoring Tubelo's favorite son begins tonight, and there is a new attraction this year. WCBI's Allie Martin is standing by live with more on that. Allie? Thank you. We are here at a new event for Tupelo Elvis Festival. It's called Music at the Mill. Now, this is a new event for the festival, and it's also an opportunity. It's the first time that the public will be able to step inside this building and see how one man's vision is bringing new life back to a Tupelo landmark. For months now, workers have been transforming part of the old J.J. Rogers building into an event space. It is phase one of a multi-year project that will transform the 109,000 square foot facility into a multi-purpose development. Well, I wanted to say, can we have something in Tupelo where there is a venue space, there's a restaurant, uh, there are other things that people can do and sort of make it into a community. Attorney Greg Perkle bought the J.J. Rogers building in 2010. The building was constructed in 1901 as a cotton mill. He says the historic building and its many possibilities for development were big attractions. Along with the venue space, plans also call for a brewery, restaurant, coffee shop, a movie theater, bowling alley, and a boutique hotel. The age of the building presents several challenges. When you buy an old building, it is a labor of love and it is a very expensive labor of love. Um, uh, the electricity, the electrical wiring had to be removed. Uh, there was not uh, significant plumbing. There was no heat and air, which is typical, typical uh, of an old building like this. So there's a lot of cost. There's a lot of thought that has to go into how to make this presentable and usable, but still maintain the integrity of um, the historic nature of the building. To accomplish that goal, the original light fixtures are being used in the event center. Also, each window is crafted on site to be historically accurate. Perkle envisions the old cotton mill becoming a hub for the Mill Village area. There are so many people who are buying properties, they're renovating homes. That's happening two streets over. It's happening just next to the, this building. We do a lot of things that can really go well with the things that are going on downtown. We feel like it's a wonderful opportunity to provide the people of Tupelo and all of Northeast Mississippi an alternative experience. Perkle estimates all of the renovations will take about five years to complete. Forming. They will take the stage behind me in just a little bit. And then a wedding will take place here this weekend. They do have the air on, and that is a good thing. A lot of activity here at the old cotton mill as Elvis Fest 2017 is kicking off. For now, we're in Tupelo. We'll send it back to you in the studio.